Why are most qualified people unemployed? Is it because they're lazy or is the system just corrupt? My name is Susan Grace and welcome to Hang Out with Susan. I came across a video on social media about a lady complaining about how HRs will put out adverts about a job opening, asking people to apply, also putting out deadlines. Meanwhile, they already know the person they're gonna give this opportunity to. Hence the question, are people unemployed because they're lazy or are people unemployed because the HRs are misleading people? I've got Billy who says that's how it works. It's just for PR purposes. Majid says it's very simple. They just follow protocols of posting jobs, but they already know who they want to employ. Thing ties to the other point, just PR. Um, Dadir says it's really it's really a frustrating issue to so many unemployed youths. Victor says the system is rigged. Um, only a small percentage of unemployed people make it through to employment. Many times the positions are already filled by the time of the advertisement, but due diligence has to be done. A spiky says because in Kenya you have to have connections, i.e. you have to know people, hence the popular phrase you should know people. Basically in Kenya, for you to not be unemployed, you have to know people who are the people. Dennis says there are too many qualified people and the jobs are very minimal. He went further to explain and concluded by saying the system is messed up. But Tutatobuatu. Ram argues that some are qualified on paper but not on skill. Finally, I've got Jonathan who says whether or not that's the case, i.e. whether you're unemployed because you're lazy or whether the system is rigged, it's true that employment does not come easy, but our responsibility is to keep on pushing, asking and applying effortlessly and eventually the opportunity will present itself at the right time. He says, I've also seen platforms like LinkedIn come in handy, especially for job seekers. Love that. Now, my two cents on this whole unemployment issue. Um, are some people lazy? Yes. Is the system corrupt? Also, yes. Do we all want to be employed? Yes. Do we also want to be self-employed? Yes. Do we want to be our own bosses? Absolutely, yes. But sometimes it's not about what you want, it's about how bad you want it. How bad do you want to be your own boss? How bad do you want to be self-employed? How bad do you want something determines how much effort you put into it. And sometimes how much effort you put into it says a lot about how bad you want it. Corrupt system or not corrupt system, are you doing anything about the fact that you're not employed? And let me tell you this, you do what you have to do. Do your due diligence because there's one person who never ignores our efforts and that's God. Yes, God recognizes efforts. Don't be discouraged that the system does not recognize you, the employer does not recognize you, the organization has never opened your email. Uh-uh, nah-uh. You do what you have to do. Put in the effort. You see that effort that we're talking about that shows how bad you want something? You keep putting it because God does not ignore efforts. God will fight for you. God will get you that job, all right? Asante Nisana for sticking through this video. I love you, I appreciate you. I. We'll see you in the next episode of Hangout with Susan.